Hello everyone! How are you? It's nice to know that you're fine. A warm welcome to all of you. Our topic that we're going to discuss in this video is about the principles of modern linguistics. But before we proceed to our discussion, I want to introduce myself. I am Justin A. Bibon, your presenter for today. Do you want to learn something? If yes, let's do this. Our topic will be the principles of modern linguistics. But first, we should know what is linguistics and what is the modern linguistics. When we say linguistics, it is about the scientific study of language. Human language is about or understood as a systematic, as a systematic use of speech, sound, signs, and symbols that are used to communicate among people. Okay, we proceed to modern linguistics. When we say modern linguistics, it is reduced language primarily to oral and written language. In some contexts, it includes a study of sign language and braille. Do you familiar with the term braille? When we say braille, it is the form of written language that used by the blind people. The modern field of linguistics dates from the beginning of the 19th century. The discipline of linguistics focuses on theories of language structure, variation, and use, the description and documentation of contemporary language, and the implications of theories of language for an understanding of the mind and brain, human culture, social behavior, and language learning and teaching. There are three principles of modern linguistics. It is the structuralism, functionalism, and generativityism. Structuralism is a term in linguistics referring to a theoretical approach to the analysis of language that describes linguistics ideas in terms of structures. The basic claim of structuralism is that language is System. The, the father of structuralism is known by as by Ferdinand D. Sauser. In 1916, his course, The Linguistic General, or Course in General Linguistics in English, was published, where the main ideas of structuralism were formulated. He argued that each element in a language is defined by how it's related to other elements. He also formulated several principles of linguistics analysis which have become the tenets of modern linguistics. Here are the principles will be presented. Okay, the first principle is linguistics is descriptive, not prescriptive. So what does it mean? It means that linguists describe the rules and facts of language exactly as they find them without making judgments. They do not try to impose norms of correctness and do not try to change the actual usage of the language of the native speakers. This contrasts with the previous view of traditional grammar which was very strongly prescriptive. The principle of descriptiveness also reflects the present-day view about language change. Before this author, it was held that linguistics change involves corruption and should be stopped. Modern linguistics states that change is a natural process. The task of linguists is to describe the way people speak and write, not to tell them how they ought to use language. The next principle is priority of the spoken language. It is one of the main principles of modern linguistics that spoken language is more basic than written language. For a long time, only written language was studied and judgment about language on the whole were based on the result of the studies. However, Spoken language is very different from written text. There are great 
variation both in a grammar and vocabulary choices, which the written language does not reflect. Therefore, for a full understanding of language use, both spoken and written language should be studied. The third principle is synchronic and diachronic description of language. Those two, those two basic principles can be applied to the study of language, synchronic and diachronic. When we say diachronic linguistics, it is the study of language from the viewpoint of their historical development, while the synchronic, while the synchronic linguistics studies language at a single point of time. It may be represent, it may be present day situation or any given period in the history of language development. Both ways of describing language are important. The next principle is all language are equal. For a linguist, all language serves as the data for obje objective study, though it was common earlier to call certain languages primitive. It was determined that every existing natural language is a highly developed system and its structure does not directly correlate with the stage of social development, the speech community. The last principle is paradigmatic and syntagmatic relations of linguistic units. When we say a linguistic unit, it is enters into relations of two different kinds which identify it in the language system. It enters into paradigmatic paradigmatic relations with all the other elements of the same level, which can also be used in the same context. For example, in the phrase uh, of milk, the missing element could be glass, jar, mug, bottle. All of these concrete countable nouns stand in paradigmatic relationship. A linguistic unit enters into syn syntagmatic relationship with the other elements of the same level with which, which it occurs and which make its context. Syntagmatic relations for the phrase a glass of milk would be between glass and a, uh, of and milk. The second one is the functionalism, the frag school. When we say functionalism, it is represented mostly by the works of the Frag School. In linguistics, functionalism is best seen as a movement continuing the tradition of Saussarian structuralism. The main theme of this approach is that language is a system of functionally related units. The phonological, grammatical, and semantic language is a communicative one. Language is used by people to communicate. The last one is the generativism or the generative grammar. The term is used to refer to the theory of language developed by Noam Chomsky. Language theory revolutionized linguistics in 1957 when his book Synthetic Structure was published. He draws a distinction between linguistic competence and, per and performance. A speaker's linguistics competence is the part of his knowledge of his knowledge of the native language system which enables him to make an infinite number of sentences. Performance is linguistics behavior which is determined both by the speaker's linguistics competence and various non-linguistic factors such as social conventions, emotional attitudes, and others. That's all. Thank you. Stay safety and